Hey guys. Um, I don't know what sort of state my face is in, but hopefully it not look crazy. Too crazy. A few days ago it was meant to be buying like 15 to 20s all week. And that ain't 15 to 20s. So the forecast changed for today. I didn't even I didn't even look yesterday or even the day before really to see what it was gonna be like today. Or tomorrow for that matter. Went for a drive, had a few jobs in town to do and I um, saw the weather, saw the ocean, and thought, oh, stuff this, turned around, went home, got the boat. Now I'm out here about to get in the water. I just sounded up a bit of something on the bottom. There's a bit of bait and stuff around and a few little tuna. So I'm gonna jump in and see what I can find. And today I'm just gonna cruise around. Um, I went out two days ago and got a couple of um, a couple of good bar cheek trout and a couple of crayfish. So I've still got um, a little bit of trout left in the fridge. So I'll just cruise around, see what we can find. I might tick a few species off the um, this year's running comp. If I can find some, no real plans, just see what happens. There's been turtles and stuff popping up here. I'm um, in a sea snake. So it sort of says there's a bit of something here. Yeah, let's see. It's about 14 meters, I think, something like that. So yeah, righto. Finish sunscreen up and I'll get in the water. I did a few dives just off the main structure. I wasn't seeing too much. I was just heading down, scaring some cod, and just kind of laying on the bottom, doing a bit of grunting, scratching the sand a little bit. The batfish seemed to like it, but yeah, not much else. So I thought I'll head into the main structure, and I'll do a dive down there and just see what I can find. You'll see here I land up really high, right up on top of the structure. I was in a weird, kind of awkward position and I just couldn't get comfortable. You can really see how the fish react as I head down, they all sort of dart away and they're not comfortable with me as well. To even have half a chance, I probably should have moved down there, or there. Or maybe even just over this little edge. I cut my losses and head for the surface. I found another area with a little bit of structure. It was a little bit shallower, it was about 10 metres deep. I dive down here and just land just off the edge of the structure. I see a few small tuskies moving around. I land in a really good position and just sit nice and low and get nice and comfy. I just start doing a little bit of grunting and a little bit of scratching. I just hold out and wait. The whole time I'm constantly scanning. And then this guy moves in. I don't have a good shot initially, so I just wait just that little bit longer. I've still got plenty of breath hold left. The fish gets a little bit curious and sort of slows a little. I do one last little lunge and I put in a really good holding shot. This is a great fish for the coast, and I'm pretty sure it's the only fish I took home that day. I've been diving for oh, a couple of hours now. I dived that first spot. There was, yeah, there was legal fish, but sort of nothing worth shooting. Um, but I've had some success. You can probably see it here. Another good tusky. Put him in the sun. Oh, 
not very deep about 10 meters or 9.8 meters and a minute 30 seven dive and i saw him right at the end of the dive so i stayed down there a little bit longer he's a cracker It'd be a good five six kilo awesome looking fish i'm looking forward to having this the most the wings the wings taste delicious on these things so i might just have fish wings for dinner Sweet. This footage was taken on the day that I lost that big Spanish. I was actually heading down to make sure I could free my anchor up. I was going to move spots. So I pulled my anchor out and I was throwing it up on top of the rocks there. Making sure it's in a good spot so I can just sort of swim up and pull it up. And this guy moves in. You see here I aim right in front of it and let it swim in front of the gun. holding shot on this and check it out. I'm happy with the holding shot. I'm gonna start heading up. See that? It's been shot at before. Got a really good shot on it. Really good holding shot. In through the back of the gill plate there. Out through its cheek. It was um it was never coming off this fella. Great fish. I hope you enjoyed that one guys. If you did please like and subscribe, it's free to subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss out on this next one, cheers.